Today we're going to unbox the all new TIE 4 sink and I'm going to demonstrate how to use it by cooking these fantastic chicken halves. I'm Johnny. This is View to a Grill. First, let's unbox the TIE 4 sink. In the box, the first thing you're going to see is the TIE 4 sink base. The TIE 4 sink base offers a compact design where my iPhone is slightly larger than the base. The sink also offers a unique solution where you can monitor your cook on your phone or on the base itself. The base is also used for probe storage and a recharging station. In the box, you're also going to find a charging cable, a user manual, and the TIE 4 sink guarantee. Let's take a look at the two probes that come in the box. Both probes have a zirconia handle and the probe is also a thin 0.24 inch diameter. For the internal temperature, you'll be able to monitor up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And for the ambient temperature, you'll be able to monitor up to 572 degrees Fahrenheit. Both of these probes are rated as IP67 water resistant. You can wash them by hand or in the dishwasher. Now let's take a look at some of the technology that the TIE 4 sink has built in. TIE 4 sink is using the best available 5.4 Bluetooth connection. As of now, this is far superior than other popular brands on the market. Each probe has five scientifically positioned sensors. One of these sensors is in the handle and it measures the ambient temperature. The other sensors are placed in the shaft at four different areas. Only using Bluetooth, you can monitor your cook up to 230 feet while your food is uncovered and up to 65 feet when your food is covered. However, if you have connected this to your Wi-Fi, you basically have unlimited range to monitor your cook. Now that we've touched several high points, let's install the app. To install your app, you just need to go to your app store. Next, you'll search for TIE 4. Now you can download the app. When the app is downloaded, you can then follow all of the on-screen instructions. I suggest that you accept the notifications and then you can go through the pairing process for the device. Once you've done that, you can then confirm the pair on the base. The pairing process is now complete and you are done with the Bluetooth connection. Next, you're going to want to connect to your Wi-Fi. Just choose your home Wi-Fi login. Once you've done that, you are done connecting to Wi-Fi. Now that we have our TIE 4 sink all set up, let's try this out by setting up our cook. For our cook, I'm going to be using two chicken halves. I've just seasoned the underside of both of these chicken halves. Let's go ahead, set up the TIE 4 sink. We'll start by touching set up cook. Next, we'll choose poultry. I'll then choose whole. For my doneness, I would like to have medium well, which is the chef's choice. I can then touch next and then insert the probes. I just like to measure out where I'd like to have the point of the probe to be and the thickest part, and then get those inserted into the breast. And then one thing I'd like to point out is that you have to insert the probe past this safety line. And then you can see here that the probe is inserted past that line. I'll then finish seasoning my chicken halves. Now we can get those on the indirect side of the grill and close the lid. While the chicken is in our kettle, let's take a look at some of the app and base features. First off, the TIE 4 sink comes with two thermometer probes. Most thermometer companies only give you one probe. The base is also a display unit. You can monitor your entire cook by just using the base. And you can also set up your cook by just using the arrows on the base. Now for everything you get, two probes, a base that you can monitor your cook and an app, the Typher Sync is a really great value. 
since we're using both probes and we've set up both probes for our cook the internal temperature is registering lower on one than the other you can also see that the algorithm it uses to predict the end of your cook is longer on probe one than it is on probe two and that's because probe two is registering a higher temperature than probe one which means one side of our grill is hotter than the other with that information we can do some cook adjustments for instance rotating our chicken we'll get our chicken rotated for more even cooking and close the lid also at this point i'm going to open up the vents so we can get more heat generated inside the kettle now taking a look at our app you can see when i open the lid right here is where the temperature drop and if you use your finger and drag it across your screen you can see the complete temperature history of your cook now we're getting closer to the end of our cook i'm going to go ahead rotate our chicken again and close the lid now we're just about there i have five minutes remaining on probe one and four minutes remaining on probe two for this last part of the cook i want the legs and thighs to get most of the heat so i'm going to rotate the chicken but i'm not going to spin it like i did last time i'm just going to swap positions just to make sure that each of the hind quarters are exposed to the same heat. For probe two, our alert has gone off and it's time to take off the chicken. Our alert for probe one immediately happened after that and I went ahead and removed that as well. So it looks like we're taking them off at about five degrees before our target temperature because we're gonna let the carryover temperature get us the rest of the way. And now we get our alarm for probe two saying that we have reached our target temperature and that the cook is complete. If you would like a TIE 4 sink for yourself, check out the link below. Again, it is time for my favorite part of every cook and that is the taste test. Now take a look at this juicy chicken. It is just dripping with moisture. Now let's get ready to cut this chicken get it on the board. We can then remove the probe. So let's slice this end piece off and I could not help but throw that right into my mouth and it was delicious. Now this is the camera microphone but you can still hear how crispy that skin is. We'll take a couple more slices off. As we slice this chicken breast, check out the juices. They just come pouring out. Now, taking a closer look, we can see all the moisture that was retained from this cook. We can now take a bite and oh man, was this a delicious, juicy chicken breast. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to View to a Grill, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching a View to a Grill. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, y'all.